Welcome to Purani Jin Sakar and I'm sure with your regular practice and healthy food you should be getting very close to fitting into your Purani jeans. I am getting close to my target but you know Shami I'm still struggling with my sides. I still don't completely fit into my Purani jeans yet so you have to help me with that. Okay, we are going to work on sides today and I'm going to teach you how to make stuffed eggs. So let's begin. Before you start your practice for today Check our previous episodes on the sides, practice that first and then include this part. So we start for today, legs apart, around 3 to 3 and a half feet apart or you check your comfort zone. Your feet is facing the front, arms up and parallel to the floor. Maintain the stretch of your body, exhale and turn to your right. Your left hand on your right shoulder. Legs are tall and just keep it tall. And the moment you try to keep your legs tall, you will start using your core also. Tuck your tummy in. Keep your knees straight. Yes, thighs are stretched completely, Kriti. And now, very slowly, push your right hand to the right. Move to the right with a little jerk. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10. Maintain the stretch and change. Go. This way stretch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Make sure that during this movement, you are completely using your sides, your core are also in. And also when you change a lot of time, the legs move a little bit, which is okay. Don't push too much. Check your comfort zone and come back. Relax for a few seconds. Just give yourself like few seconds break. So Shami, how many times do I have to repeat this? So uh, like uh, depending on your time again, try and do like 5 to 8 times or if you can do 10 times and go very slow. Just target the target areas. We'll go with the next one. Absolutely. We'll lie down in one side. Sit comfortably. And legs stretched completely. Lie down. Make sure you keep your body tall, as tall as possible. Okay. Just relax for a few seconds. Your head is resting on the right hand. Now, get your right palm on the left side of your waist. And your left hand at the back of your head. Yes. Raise your head up. Head up in the air, Kriti. Your head up. No, your left hand is like at the back of your head. The palm, yeah, it's touching, not kind of pushing. Yes, up. Core in, keep your body tall, as tall as possible. Left leg up, up. Use your sides to lift your left leg up and down. Core in, two and down, up, three, up, four, you are trying to kick your head, six, seven, eight, look in front, sides completely involved, nine, ten and relax. Once you are relaxed, definitely you will turn to the other side and perform the same movement. You need to perform this three times, 10 repetitions we did, you can go up to 12 repetitions. Make sure you do it very slow. The next move for today, again, you can just take support of your right hand and place your head on the right palm. Keep stretching your right elbow out so that you are just stretching your right armpit body straight completely as tall as possible fingertips in front of your body just relax for a few seconds tuck your tummy in lengthen your body your toes in your heels out and use your side to lift both the legs together up in the air toes in kriti toes in 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 and heels out and try and keep your body tall your side should be completely engaged. Hold. 
and down. Don't touch the floor while going down. Up again as up as possible. Up, up and down. Inhale up. Keep your legs straight and down. Inhale up, legs straight and down. Up, down, up, down and relax. Can you feel Kriti that your sides are the one lift, lifting your legs up? So you know that awareness is really important. Relax for some time. Perform this like 5 to 8 times at one go and repeat 3 sets and of course you will do it in both the sides. Make sure you go very slow as soon as possible by becoming aware of the area we are targeting. And after that take a relaxation like relax for like 5 minutes in Shavasana and you are done for today. Now I am getting really hungry huh, Shami. Let's go into the kitchen and make those stuffed eggs. Yes. Welcome to the Purani Jeans Kitchen. Today I'm making stuffed boiled eggs. Wait, wait, boiled eggs? So you know, whenever I try and boil eggs, I don't understand, you know, for how long to boil it, where to stop, what should be the temperature. Often people, you know, tend to either overcook or undercook the eggs. Yes. So the right way to do it is, you uh, boil it for 10 minutes, the water should be boiling. Mm -hmm. After 10 minutes, you turn off the heat, cover the lid and let the eggs sit in the water, the hot water for mm -hmm. about 5 minutes. And to remove the peel easily, put it in cold water so the uh, peel will just slip off easily. Okay, and for okay. this particular recipe, Shami, we mm -hmm. need the egg yolks to be in the center. Mm -hmm. So just give it a stir while boiling. So it t tends to come in the center with that, with the oh, centrifuge. Wow. Okay, so now let's start with the recipe. Yes. Okay. Now Shami, what I need to do is, I just have to cut the top of the egg. And now, just scoop out. So what to do with uh, this egg yolk? I'm going to use it later but I'm not going to use all of it. So this is nice and hollow so we just cut the top. So we have like a bowl in the egg. And like I told you Shami, I'm not going to use all the egg yolks because egg white is really good for health. Egg yolk has quite a bit of fat as well mm -hmm. and a lot of flavour. So I'm going to put some but I'm not going to put all of the yolks. Now Shami, I have cooked these tomatoes in boiling water and put them in uh, cold water after that, it's called blanching. So for how long do you cook it in the boiling water? About a minute. Oh, okay. Depending on the size of the tomato and I'm just going to remove the skins. Although the skins have a lot of fiber, but in this particular recipe, because we're stuffing the egg, I really can't have skins coming in the mouth. It'll taste very unpleasant. So I'm just going to remove these skins off and we're going to remove the eye of the tomato. So you can see that the tomato is partially cooked mm -hmm. and we're not going to cook it any further because this is like a salad sort of a preparation and I'm going to scoop out the seeds from this also. Bit of a messy recipe this is. I'm just going to chop up these tomatoes. This is called a tomato con case. What does concasse mean? Basically the skin, uh, the tomato is partially cooked, the skin and the seeds are removed and it's chopped like this. It has to be much finer, it becomes almost like a pulp. And now I'm just going to transfer this into my bowl in which I'm making the stuffing. So here's my bowl. I'm just going to transfer the tomato concasse into this bowl. Now I'm going to take this peeled garlic and just add some minced or grated garlic to this tomato. Always goes really well. So about three cloves of garlic that I've actually added in the tomato. But if you don't like too much garlic, you can just alter the quantity as per your taste. To this I'm going to add one teaspoon of soy sauce. I'm added, adding some chilli powder and since we've added soy there's no need to add salt okay. but if uh, you're not very okay with the salt content in the sauce then you can always add it. I'm going to add a little bit 
of egg yolk into this like i said i'm not going to add the whole thing because well egg yolk is fattening just a little bit i'm just going to mash it up a little bit now this filling is ready and i can start stuffing eggs i'm just going to add a spoon of filling you know boiled eggs and soy they really go well together this is a new way that i have discovered to basically fill the boiled eggs primarily to make it healthy and uh, it's going to be tasty anyway so there you go shami these egg snacks are ready it's raining outside what do you say we go to the balcony and enjoy this with chai yes let's go out but before we do that here's the food tip for you today to preserve maximum nutritional value of eggs do boil them and eat them for breakfast every day to have a happy and healthy life and here is a job for you cook the recipe at home see how do you like it if you enjoyed the recipe hit the like button subscribe to the channel we are waiting for your views and comments see you tomorrow bye bye, bye.